Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to use a calculator to convert rectangular form coordinates x, y to polar form r theta. We know that any point on the plane has a coordinate x, y. We usually call this the rectangular form. Now we can also specify the location of a point by using the polar form r and theta, where r is the distance from the point to the origin, and theta is angle measure from the positive x axis. Now, the casual calculator, fx 1 es easily can obtain the polar form. There are two buttons here. One of them is a polar form, which you can find here, which will convert the rectangular coordinate to polar form. And there's also REC, which will convert polar form to rectangular form. For this example, we are just focused on how to convert rectangular form to polar form. Now, because I don't have the emulator, so I'm going to use another calculator to illustrate. However, the principles are the same. The, the screen will be more or less the same. So let's look at the first example. Suppose I have a point, x, y, which is 1, 1. I want to convert this to polar form, r theta. Now the point 1, 1 means x equal to 1, y equal to 1. Now the distance from the origin is square root of 1 square plus 1 square, which is square root of 2 or 1.41. The angle in this case we can see from the diagram is 45 degree. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use a financial calculator to convert the rectangular form to polar form. So I have a financial calculator here. Now to do this, usually you need to do a setup first. So if you don't know how your calculator is set up, so let's do a, do a setup first. So I want to set up so that the calculator is in the degree mode shift setup. So you can go down, select the degree. So in this case, I can go all the way down. So to select, OK, the angle I want to in degree mode, which is OK. So execute, 1, 1 for degree. So I'm now having my angle in degree mode now. So on. So now I want to I converting the rectangular form to polar form. Now for this particular calculator, I'm going to use a catalog function. So I'm going to press a catalog. So for this catalog, I'm going to move all the way down to select the function called polar form, P O L. So polar L, polar form. Okay. So select enter. Then I enter the coordinate one. Then, comma, 1. And then close the bracket. So, I want to find a polar form of the point 1, 1. Then, execute. So, it tell me that the distance for origin is 1.4142, which is square root 2. And, the direction is 45 degrees, as agreed. Now, let's try to look at another example. Example 2 now. If the point x, y is 1 minus 1. I want to convert them to the polar form, r theta. So, from the diagram, we have seen that r is equal to square root 2. Theta is actually minus 45 degree because it is measured in the clockwise direction. So, let's try to use my calculator again to convert this, see how it responds. So, I want to change my coordinate to minus 1 and minus 1. Okay, so I have changed the coordinate from 1 to minus 1. Then I press uh, execute again. So you find that the answer is r equal to 1.4142, theta equal to minus 45 degree. Now let's look at the third example. This time, the coordinate I have is x, y equal to minus 1, 0. I want to convert this point to the polar form. Now from the diagram, we know the distance from this point to the origin is 1. So r is equal to 1. Now the anchor, in this case, measure from the positive x axis is 180 degree. Of course, we can say also this is minus 180 degree. But our calculator will give you a restriction between minus 180 and 180 degree. So our calculator will actually give you a restriction from minus 180 degree to 180 degree. Let's try to test the calculator. So, branch my calculator. I want to change the coordinate of the point now. 
According to our priority style, I'm going to put minus 1. Okay, I'm going to put minus 1, 2, minus 1, 0. Okay, let me delete this. I just accidentally press. So I have the point coordinate is my x equal to minus 1, y equal to 0. Let's try to convert the polar form and see what you get. You'll find that r is equal to 1, theta is equal to 180 degree as promised. So let's confirm that the calculator gives you the range of the polar form in degree mode. The angle will be from minus 180 to 180, excluding minus 180. Although this calculator is different from 991ES, but the principle is the same. You set up the calculator, then you just press the POL function and XY coordinate will do. That is the end of the recording.